Welcome to my World of Tanks video number six. So I wanted to show you guys, this is the Tiger Hammer. This is one of the contract tanks I told you about. Now, I just wanted to have it as the background because it looks awesome. Here's the view of the Tiger without the other stuff on the screen. This is just the, the guys at the campfire at the base. And so this is the Tiger Hammer. Uh, tier 7, heavy tank, very strong accuracy. Just, it, it's awesome. Unless you don't like heavy tanks or Tiger tanks for whatever reason. That's your business. I like Tiger tanks. I have always liked Tiger tanks as a kid. They just look impressive. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to make a video and we're going to dun, 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 we're going to open key cards we're going to do 30 blue key cards whoops let's go right here so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to buy these key cards and i'm going to open these in the video and we're going to see what we get so let me pause this video and i'll be back in just a few moments all right, folks, I just got those cards. Let's get out of here and see where they are. Ba -dum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Okay, they're in, I know where they are. They're in the profile. But on my laptop where I do this, the screen is tiny. It's like about eight inches wide. So you can see up there it says, dun, 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 30 key cards remaining. So I got to set this up because I have another video that I'm processing at this moment and I don't want it to start and add the video, I mean add the audio in the background because it will be me competing with myself, which is very bizarre. So once again, I'm going to pause this in a, in a minute, but I'm going to tell you, so we're going to do the whole thing 30 key cards we're gonna see what's going on let me show you what the potential drop table is let me go to that first before we do this and so we need to go back to the store go to the key cards it doesn't matter you can see on there it says show drop table hit Y button and Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, cut that garbage off. So now, key cards, your epic drops await. Well, that's pretty true, actually. They can be really awesome. My friend Armor Wraith, he got some killer stuff when he bought he bought the red pack, which was the the twenty cards plus the seven bonus for a hundred dollars. He bought um, one of those, and he did very well. He only got one tank, though, on his first one, and that was a um, Icebreaker heavy tank, Tier 8 German. Pretty awesome tank. It's a heavy tank with a reload. It plays like a sniper. So really cool. And then uh, his wife bought him the same uh, amount, the, the, red, the $100 red card, Tip top secret pack with 20 plus seven bonus on that second pack he got five tanks and one of them he got twice which was the eagle seven so he got the eagle seven and then uh, uh, uh within like five cards later he got another eagle seven so what happens then is that you get the gold value in the store for the card i mean for the tank that you got so he got around seven thousand plus or minus and i don't know the exact value 6800 7500 whatever it was for the eagle seven which was a tier seven premium medium tank he got that value and so he raked it in he got like almost 
24,000 gold plus a nasty amount of vehicle and commander times three times four times six bonus tokens plus four tanks and he raked it in nasty his his total was like 50 you know, the value is about 55,000 53,000 gold total which you know a hundred a hundred dollars of gold is like 24 25,000 you can look on the store in the premiums uh, if you buy premium days it'll show you a year well, you know, whatever. But it's 25000 if you also check this to gold. So if you want to buy 25000 gold, it's $100. So he got almost the gold amount what he would buy if he bought straight gold. But he got four tanks. And, you know, he was telling me what they were as they opened. And I told him, well, you know, I'm going to do this on the video. I'm not going to talk to you on my headset in a party like we were uh, doing it. Because I was writing it down for him so we could, you know, have a way. Because when you're doing this, if you don't write down the, what you have from the cards you open, or if you don't make copies like a photo or a video on your Xbox, you don't know what you got. Uh, you, you, you know, but you don't have a, a record. So I made a record so I could analyze it myself. Because he knows what he had. He had the tanks, right? He's at, in his garage. So let's look over here. Uh, confidential. This is blue. This is what we're looking at. And these are all the same. So let me find this jerk. Ah, there we go. I, this is my Xbox screen. And this will tell you, okay, what you get in these cards, potentially, it's all random. There are 15 different potential premium tanks to get in each card. You can get up to 400 gold. That's the third bullet. Premium account time is random, one or three days. Those are always a bonus. A, uh, times two and times three vehicle experience boosters. I haven't covered those yet, but I'll explain those later. Times four and times six commander boosters. I'll explain that better later. Times two silver boosters. Those are over 100 gold each. Those are awesome to get. Up to 100,000 silver on any one card. And up to 2,000 free XP. So what it also tells you is percentages. And this is the key thing. All the cards have the same percentage for World War II premium tanks, 10%. Doesn't matter what card you buy. Now, the blue cards have any, they have random, there's a random selection. You can look at the drop table between tier three and tier eight. Um, the classified has higher tier, more higher tier tanks the red cards have like all tier sevens and tier eights. So it just all depends. What it really boils down to is look at the stash of what it is. What do you have and what is it that you need? Um, now on this list right here that you see, I have a T29. I also have the da, 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 BT7. I got that in a card last week uh, from the long haul. But there's some awesome stuff I don't have in here. I also have the Sentinel uh, Vanquisher. Vanquisher Sentinel AC, I have that guy. So if I get the T29, the, the Sentinel, or the... What the heck was the other one? T29, Vanquisher Sentinel, and BT7 Artillery. If I get those, I'll get gold for those. Now, they're not expensive. They're... 1200 to maybe 20 i know my friend one of my other friends on his long haul card he got the vanquisher sentinel which we already had he got 2350 for that one i think that's the best one of the ones that i have but the one on the bottom you see that uh shaska that is a tier 8 soviet tank destroyer it's awesome okay so this is the thing you know it's like a lottery card you never know what you're going to get you could get 150 gold you could get 400 gold and there's three slots in each card. So the three slots will get you, you know, any of those things could be, you know, gold. You can get gold 
or any any of the items that I listed there, the boosters, the gold, the tanks, that's only one of the slots of the three slots of each card. You could get a triple gold slot, and that's how you get 400 gold, is that you get gold, gold, 400. Okay. Um, you can get any combination randomly. You, you always get one gold for sure, 150 minimum. Okay. You could get, you could get like the other day I got 150 gold, 50,000 silver, and 800 free experience from my long haul card. That was a good card. You never know. It could be better. Well, like last week, I got a 150 gold plus a BT7 artillery. That was awesome. And I got like you know, something else. I don't remember. It didn't matter. I got a tank and I got 150 gold. That's what you that's what you're there for. You do long hauls because that's free gold for you. Hoard your gold, save it when you find something great, and then use your gold to buy it. That's what I do. That's what my friend Armored Wraith does as well. He has really done a terrific job of maximizing his gold that he spent on the stuff that he got. He bought a lot of bargain items. He bought the other, the most expensive item he bought, again, it was on sale though, was the M, no, sorry, M60, M60AX Cold War tank, medium, tier three butt kicker. Uh, it was a 30% off, so it's about a 14,000 gold tank. It was 10,000 gold. It was like, uh, I looked at it, I go, dude, you gotta look at this. And he looked at that and he was like, He's a medium tank guy, so he's drooling every time he sees a new medium tank. Um, yeah, it didn't take him long. I'm like, I can't. I go, I, if I had 10,000 gold to buy it, I would. I don't, but, you know, eh, I'll, I'll get it later. Maybe. I really, it's not the one I want. I want this. Um, they have a 14,000 gold light tank. So, hey, that's my dream.